What I'm going to show you today in this video is how to perform the bench press correctly. The bench press is one of the best exercises you could do if you look at the gains of upper body strength or maybe add some muscle to your chest, your shoulders, your arms. Okay, it's a truly great compound exercise that uses many muscles at once. But the amount of times I see people doing this incorrect in the gyms is unbelievable. Okay, about 90% of the lads I see does actually, I don't think I've ever seen someone doing this correctly in the gym. Okay, it's all about your setup, and once you get your setup right, you'll be so surprised at how much better and how much heavier than you can lift on the bench press. Okay, so we're going to go through the setup here first. Your setup is vital for the bench press, and it's all about creating as much tightness and getting yourself as compact as possible if you are looking to have a really, really strong and impressive bench press. So the first thing you got to do is set up your eyes at the right level. Your eyes should be directly underneath the bar or even a little bit in front of the bar. And the reason, which we'll get into a tiny bit more detail later on in the video, is because of the bar path, right? You're going to want to be pushing the bar backwards. And you're definitely not going to be doing this if you set up like most people who set up with their chest directly underneath the bar. Because you're going to hit the hooks or you're going to hit the rack at the top. The second part we're going to get done, you can see it's happening here, is I'm pulling my shoulders back and down towards the bench. Okay, so I'm getting my shoulders really tight and squeezed together. You can see in this video, it's really evident that I'm pulling my shoulders back and down my back. And I'm going to remain and keep that tightness throughout the duration of the lift, even when I push the bar off my chest. Keeping the tightness all of the time. What you're trying to avoid happen is getting this roundness in your shoulder, especially when you come off your chest with the bar. A lot of people have a tendency to let their arms go too far out, which not only makes you go looser in the, in the shoulder, but it also increases the distance the bar has to travel from your chest. So it's obviously going to be a harder lift if you're trying to do it this way for two reasons. One is you're not as stable in your shoulder, which means you're not as strong. And the second reason that I just explained is because you have to push the bar further, which is clearly going to be harder. So step three, we're moving down towards the body. This is often a hugely overlooked concept of a bench press. And it's the idea of making your lower body, your legs, your, your glutes, your, your quads to do a lot of work when you're benching. If you don't feel your legs when you're bench pressing, you're, you're not bench pressing properly, basically. Okay, so you should get a really good workout in your legs as well. And it'll dramatically, dramatically increase your bench press in only one session alone, just by improving this little point here. So what I'm doing in the video is I'm getting my feet in as close to I can as possible behind me. And then I'm trying to push my feet into the ground and push my knees outwards. Um, a, a cue I use a lot of the time when I'm coaching someone in the gym is that I'll tell them to try and rip the floor apart. If there was a crack, say, in between your feet, you're trying to rip that open as hard as you can. So you should feel a lot of tightness in your legs and you're driving your heel into the ground. It's important to note as well that at this stage, you're squeezing your ass as hard as you can. You're getting your stomach tight as if you were bracing yourself for a punch in the belly. And yes, in case you have a question looking at the video, that you will have an arch in your back and that is totally cool. So you'll see then the difference when I use my legs and I drive them in to the ground. I'll actually get my, my upper body, the rest of my body, pushed back a lot. Okay, you're not actually going to do this in the bench, but I'm just trying to, to, to make a point that... The legs being driven into the ground will send a lot of force back through your legs, through your stomach, in through your arms, and therefore into the bar. Okay, if you're one of these people who doesn't use the legs in the bench press and they kind of dangle it in front of you, you're not going to be able to drive them into the ground. So you've got no force coming from your legs. So you're not going to be as strong doing the bench. So find the tightness in your shoulders, find the tightness in your legs. The next point, actually going and perform the lift. Um, when you're dropping the bar down towards your chest, the main thing you've got to do is get a, a stable shoulder. What I mean stable shoulder is you've got to, got to try and wind up your shoulder. Okay, so remember that we pull the shoulder blades back and down. That's brilliant. There's also another step to creating a stable shoulder, and that's tucking your elbows in towards your body at like a 45 degree angle. Okay, so if you imagine you went to, to punch a punching bag, you're going to tuck your elbow in slightly. So even if you do it now, try and put your hand out in front. Wind your hand back for, for a punch there. Okay, and what happens? You're going to tuck your elbow in slightly, right? That's just the strongest position your, your shoulder is going to end up in when you pull your hand back. 
So you're almost like tightening it up, winding up your shoulder like a slingshot, keeping the elbows tucked in so you can release with a lot of force off your chest. The main mistake that you'll see, maybe yourself or a lot of people making, is the elbows flared out to the side that look like this here. From a, a quick viewpoint, it actually looks all right. The elbows are underneath your wrists, which you want, but there's no stability in the shoulder here because it's not tucked down at a 45 degree angle. It's more straight out here at 90 degrees, which you're definitely not going to be that strong in. And you'll run into some weird shoulder issues as well if you keep bench pressing like this. So from the side, this is what it looks like. Elbows are tucked. And then the main point that I want to stress on this is the angle the bar is being pushed at. When you lower the bar down to your chest, it's going to come to around your about your nipple line or maybe a tiny bit lower. And when you push back off your chest, now listen to this. This is the most vital part of the bench press after the tightness in the setup is the bar path. When you're pushing the bar off your chest, it should not go on a straight line straight up over your chest. It should be pushed back over your shoulders in kind of a diagonal direction. Pushing back over the shoulders in a diagonal direction, finishing off over the top of your shoulders. So mid chest to over your shoulders. Yes, it is going back towards the rack. And now if you can remember back to the first part of the video when I told you you needed to get your eyes set up correctly, this is the reason why. Because if your chest was directly underneath the bar, you would be clattering the rack here and you would make a lot of noise. And I would throw off your bench press. And the last part of the puzzle then is just a quick note that I see a lot of people doing this. They can, they can get their setup great. They're using leg drive, they have their elbows tucked in and they really understand the concept of a stable shoulder and, and a stable midsection. But then they'll lose a lot of power because they, they put their hands on, on the bar in a wrong position. When you're grabbing the bar, everyone's length uh, distance is going to be a little bit different. Roughly your hands are just going to be just outside shoulder width, but I can't give you a direct, a direct answer because you'd have to see it. everyone is a tiny bit different on where they're going to space their hands to find the strongest position. But where you grab the bar is going to be the same for everyone. Make sure when you grab the bar that the bar is in the fat part of your hand just above the crease in your thumb. So your wrists are in a really strong position. Try and avoid grabbing the bar too high up in your hand where it's nearly on, nearly on your fingers that leaves your wrists in a bent position. It doesn't matter if you've got all this tightness in your legs and in your shoulders and everything like that. If you end up grabbing the bar at your weakest point on your hand, you're not going to be able to send as much force as you should be able to through the bar. So in the fat part of your hand and now you're super strong. And then we're just going to finish off going through real quick. Here it is. Shoulder tightness, eyes under the bar, feet are back in as close as I can towards my butt while keeping my heels on the ground. Big breath in, squeezing my ass here, lower the bar towards your chest, pause for a second, don't bounce it off your chest and drive up over your shoulders.